Spurs held on to win 2-1 and progressed to the semis. Ian Dark, Antonio Conte is showing signs of really getting the best out of this Spurs side, isn't he? He really is, I think. I mean, he's been like a hurricane through that place. The intensity there in that team and one stat kind of reflects it from being the team that ran the least in the whole of the Premier League, 20th out of 20. They've gone to being the team that runs the most in a very short space of time. There's a new intensity about them. They're not there yet. I'm not saying they're in the title race or anything like that, but they are much improved. They've lost one out of seven games under Conte. They're going the right way. I think you saw it against Liverpool at the weekend. And tonight, even though West Ham dominated the second half, it was because Spurs showed pretty good game management. They didn't really give West Ham too much of a look in. They allowed them really to have two thirds of, of, of the pitch and said, well, come on then, we're two one up. And West Ham couldn't break them down. So Spurs are into a semi. And I think this competition is a big, big one for them. This club needs to win a trophy. And I think Conte is quickly into the narrative there. And he knows really that would be gold dust to deliver even the League Cup for them. There are two things to mention here. First of all, they're looking sharper. That's what happens when you cut out ketchup and mayonnaise. <laughs> Secondly, Craig, it was well, a strong... I've cut the ketchup out. Right? <laughs> yeah, just can't shake the mayonnaise. Um... Can't shake that. <laughs> Secondly, it was a strong team he put out there for a cup competition mm. like this. Yeah, because as Ian said, I think he wants to have something tangible uh, to show. He knows it's not going to be a league title, for sure. Uh, you know, that's going to be, <laughs> that is going to be difficult, even if they go out and spend a lot of money. Uh, but I think he just wants to see improvement. The first couple of games, you, and that was understandable, he was only just in. You didn't see too much. I think the game at Everton away was a bit of a damp squib. Then he's had that break uh, where they didn't play before the Liverpool game that gave him more time on the training field. And I thought it was, as Ian said, I thought it was evident in the Liverpool performance. The way that they went from being solid defensively to counter-attacking... Uh, but getting bodies forward and getting the speed in which they got up and supported Kane and Son in that league match at the weekend uh, was impressive. So, yeah, he's the type of manager where he wants his ideas across on the training field and on the field on a weekend or wherever day the game is. And if players don't adhere to what he wants, you're out. Mm. It's, not, it's not up for debate. If he's got enough players fit and available to pick from, if you're not doing what he wants on the field, you're out the side. And so that leaves players with absolutely crystal clear understanding of what their role needs to be if they want to play in the first team. And so uh, Spurs progressing and we also know the draw now because it was made straight after these games. Shaka, it will be Chelsea against Spurs, Conte against his old club mm -hmm. and Arsenal oh. taking on Liverpool. Uh, I mean, I think this is an interesting draw. Uh, Chelsea Spurs, especially Chelsea at the bridge. And, and both those clubs used fairly strong lineups which you can't criticize Liverpool of doing and you can't criticize Arsenal of doing albeit against lower league opposition in Sunderland I, I don't think Jurgen Klopp is going to change in 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 that regard I think he's going to continue to play his younger players and, and those uh, are those, those fringe players as, as we've seen I really want to see what Arteta does um, just kind of give him Arsenal's own position in the table given Arsenal's need for silverware does he stick with his young players as, as he did? That, that for me, is, is, in terms of selections, the, big, the bigger question mark for me. But no question. You get to set, regardless of who you are, how big your club is, your history in, 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 in the game, you get to a semi-final and you start to believe. And, and that's when I think questions are asked around, around selections. There's a great chance of a North London derby here in the final, mm. isn't there? Just because... You know, the priorities certainly for Liverpool and Chelsea are, are going to be elsewhere. A Champions League, league title to be fought for at the moment, particularly from Liverpool's perspective. We'll see what unfolds uh, for Chelsea. Both of them, and, and I, Shaq's right, you know, these managers are not changed, particularly Jurgen Klopp. It won't be a strong, strong Liverpool. It'll be a strong guess, hybrid mix of experience, uh, substitute fringe players, youngsters. Uh, and that might give the Arsenal and Tottenham's a chance. We've seen Arteta's won an FA Cup already in his, his time at Arsenal. They've done better in the league recently. They've hit a bit of form. Mm. Uh, why not? Why not go for another cup competition? Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.